Welcome my friends, welcome to this video in which I will show you how to mow the lawn with an electric lawn mower without any hassle for managing the power cable. I am doing this video because every year in May, June, July the number of views on my video about how to repair a Moon Lawyer extension is quite high. So this time we're taking the problem at the source and I will be showing you how to avoid any hassle with the power cable. You see here that I'm wearing a t-shirt from the Formula One Grand Prix. Not many links with the lawnmower except that they have in common that the lawnmower has four wheels as well and that it's making a little bit of noise. This is why I'm using, for my comfort, some ear protections, which is giving a higher level of comfort. Let's go. You find me in front of the garden shed that you had already seen in my video about the introduction to the sanding. Now this here would deserve a little uh, restoration but we won't be doing this now. And you see here, by the way, a little piece of my pink caravan for which I will pay you a visit one day. This garden shed is an interesting case because one half on this side had been designed and implemented by myself, which made that I could customize it to my needs. But we will, we will be seeing this later as well. Nevertheless, it starts with a Moran lawyer and I'm very happy to have this little door which makes that the access to the lawn mower is much easier. Today we're having a new lawn mower. Unfortunately, the old one gave up, which makes that I had now to make this second take and if you want to see the first one, I'm putting it at the end. If you want to be relaxed with the cable, the first thing is that, of course, at the beginning, there shouldn't be any mess. For instance, if your cable is in such shape, it would be very difficult to make your lawn mowing. And you can admire here my cable holder, which is stemming from Street Treasures. Very nice video about this one. The secret is starting right from the beginning, because you will have less issues if you are following the way that I'm putting the extension on the floor. Basically, it's rather easy. You have the plug for plugging into the power. And then you have this side, which will be plugged into the lawn mower. So the little tip is very easy. The side with the power, you put it on the bottom. And the side for the lawn mower, you put it on the top. So now I'm taking the side which is going on the lawn mower. So now we can plug in the side of the lawn mower. Very important, take advantage of all the little hooks which are there for avoiding that the cable is uh, getting apart. On this type here, you did like this. So it may happen, here it happens in this case, that the plug here is moving with the vibrations and then it's falling down. So for not being harassed by your extension, 
just put a little bit of tape. Before starting, the reminder about an important rule. Very important to remove all the things which are on the ground. These are usually two components. The first one are the garden furniture, as well as branches which uh, fell apart. Now it's very windy, and in case you have a dog, of course, very important. Pick up the dog's poo. The issue is when you have to, to mourn, uh, it's uh, really very uncomfortable to need to stop for picking up the things which are on the ground. And usually you have a security button and then you have one button for the power. This here is the first cut in the year and before that there was very high grass and this I did the works with the debroussailleuse in case of interest don't hesitate to see this video. So here I will be cutting quite high. You can arrange the height of the machine like this. So I'm cutting high. This is a personal choice, but in my case I don't like to cut too short. Essentially for two reasons. The first reason it's making less work because you will mourn less often. And the second reason, of course, there are some limits because if it's super hot it will get yellow anyway. But of course, if the grass is a little bit higher, the exposure to very dry periods is a little bit lower, which makes that it will stay more green than become yellowish. And here comes the second little secret for not being disturbed by the extension. It is that you are starting to moan close to where the cable is. So in my case, I will start here <clears throat> and then make some lines and there's only one exception which is the borders uh, on which I will make uh, a little exception to this rule but otherwise always start from where the cable is placed. So now I'm changing the angle so that you can follow closely this operation and I'm and we're meeting back later on. Some comments about the technique used here. So first of all, you see that I started close to the source of the power. And for the long lines, I'm making a U-turn. And you can see the cable on the right, which is perfectly rolling out without any problem. So here it's another angle and you see again U-turn for the long lines and here I will be addressing smaller lines and for this I'm making back and forth. Close to the caravan, same idea. For the long lines I'm making a U-turn and then you will see that close to the border there are smaller uh, items and here I'm making back and forth technique. It may happen that you have to move the cable, in this case just take the very nice lasso technique. Here on this model there is this little uh, indicator about uh, the this piece here so when it's like this it means that there's still some space and when it's not opening anymore it means that it's full. For emptying the grass container, these very big bags are ideal because you can just feed without any hassle. 
and I let you admire this wonderful freshly cut grass entering into the bag in slow motion. Let me also add that in case you have huge quantity to manage, I have shared some tips in the video about grass trimming too. Don't hesitate to watch the video which is suggested in link. my friends this by the way is not really lawn it's more prairie as we say in French meaning wild grass I think we probably have put around hundreds of uh, grass uh, semi but uh, finally it's a rather rough grass so for sure this won't be a golf green so now we finish with a uh, mowing and the very last step for the next time is to make sure that we are storing the cable in the right way and that's what we'll see right now. So we start removing the tape. For storing it, we take one extremity. This will be the back. Electric mower lawyers have the big advantage of having a very low maintenance and you will see now after two years time it will start without any problems. 